Weddings should be memorable, but not for the groom's lack of style. That's why our friends at the Black Tux rents suits and tuxedos that you'll love wearing at your wedding. So if you wind up getting featured on a list of 23 epic wedding fails, or say your reception table catching fire, your DJ playing, let's get it on during the father-daughter dance, at least you know you'll look good for your close-up. Listen, guys stress about weddings too. Me, I've never been married, but I've had to rent quite a few bad tuxes in my day. Those rental stores, they're just renting you a penguin costume for the day. It's uncomfortable, it never looks right, and that giant bow tie, that's got to go. It's a big day, you got to have some style, so go to theblacktux.com. Check out their tuxes. Let me tell you, now you're dressing in style. They've even got a groom's guide with helpful tips for the groom who might be feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole getting married thing, if you know what I mean. But the best part about the Black Tux is that they have an easy online ordering process that brings your suit or tuxedo straight to you. Just pick a style at theblacktux.com and request a free home try-on so you can feel the fit and quality before you commit. And if online isn't your style, they have showrooms all over the country where you can find your fit and plan your look. From there, they'll ship your order two weeks before your wedding so you can check it out one last time. Talk about commitment. Over 5,000 five-star reviews across Wedding Wire, The Knot, and their own website. They all agree you won't find another rental experience or designs like the ones you'll find at The Black Tux. Grooms, if you want your wedding to be remembered for the right reasons, visit theblacktux.com slash listen. That's theblacktux.com slash listen for $20 off your purchase. Walk, don't run to theblacktux.com slash listen to find a look for you and your crew. Theblacktux.com, formal wear for the moment. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 310. In today's episode, let Aruba make your coffee at Cafe X. When you're in a local coffee shop, chances are you're not thinking all too much about how your coffee is getting made. Not so for Cafe X's founder and CEO, Henry Hugh. Hugh found himself in Shanghai Airport a few years ago watching the baristas make coffee in the airport coffee shop. He noticed the baristas moving quickly in a tight space, performing a series of mechanized, repetitive movements. As he waited in line, almost missing his plane, he thought, there has to be a better way to do this. No, he wasn't thinking, let's build a robot to take the jobs, more like, let's build a robot to take out some of these repetitive tasks so that the humans would be free to do more human things. And so the concept of Cafe X was born. At the time, there were no robot baristas, so you do what any enterprising entrepreneur would do. You build one. With the help of two friends and a $100,000 Teal Fellowship, he built the first prototype from sheet metal. Two years later, they opened a coffee kiosk in San Francisco. In 2018, they opened their first fully automated coffee shop as well as another robotic coffee kiosk. Cafe X Spartan locations in San Francisco are equipped with at least one coffee making robot, including an arm that can move on six axes, costing $25,000, and an array of tablet computers where customers place orders and pay. The Cafe X concept identifies and remedies the pain points of the coffee buying experience, and then using robotics and automation to solve those issues. One particular pain point is the line. There's always the undecided guy in line holding things up. Cafe X solves that problem by moving the ordering process to their app or ordering kiosks within the Cafe X store. Customers come into Cafe X, pick up their coffees, enter their code, and the robot barista picks up their order and hands it to them. Another issue is incorrect or mismatched orders. If you've got four customers in a crowded shop with the name Jerry, there's a good chance that one of those Jerry's isn't getting what he wanted. The robot doesn't have that issue. It recognizes the customer by the code they enter and the name taken from a payment card always giving the customer exactly what they ordered. Then there's coffee quality. High-end coffee shops measured by the gram, but when things get crazy, a hand-poured artisanal coffee might just turn out to be an expensive cup of burnt sadness. The robot's measurements are always going to be precise. It can accommodate lighter roast and more variety in orders because it will always make the order in the same exact way. Also, since the robots are busy handling the tedious aspects of coffee making, measuring, mixing, brewing, distributing, the humans can be freed up to interact with customers and probably answering a thousand questions about the robots. According to recent reports, Cafe X is about to complete $12 million financing round and are looking to expand Cafe X. Mm, so much money in coffee. There sure is. It was like Blue Bottle got buffed for some crazy amount of money, whatever yep. that was. Yeah. Robots making coffee. Are you afraid? I am not afraid. I saw the drink making robot in Las Vegas. That scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because do you know how much fun it is to play on one of those tablets and mix and have it mix drinks for you? And then you just, you know, mm-hmm. 
it could be very dangerous. So <laughs> obviously we see Cafe X in San Francisco because this is like perfect for San Francisco. But I could see there's a video that we'll have the video on our website, ecommerce minute.co. There is um, it's pretty neat the way it does this and they use high end coffee and everything's very precise. And I know that you're like me, you like a better coffee, you know, we wouldn't be caught dead drinking a Dunkin' Donuts. We'd rather have a nicer cup of coffee. I think this would be perfect for an airport. Um, I don't know how many times, just like this guy, you're standing in that Starbucks line looking at oh. it, and there's the double half calf soy, non-soy dairy, soy coconut latte frappuccino lady uh, who's counting out her pennies at the, at the counter. And it's, you know. Yeah, and then you go up and go. Can I have just a black coffee? Please? Yeah, black coffee. Like you just want to, you just want them to put up that sign that says "black coffee" right here. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Put out a hose. <laughs> although, uh, although you know what's the other places? Um, tr- uh, stops on the turnpike. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Oh like, my god! You just you know, it's like a stop at a turnpike is like I always treat it like a NASCAR race. It's like, okay, you ready? Go. You run to the bathroom. I'm getting to the coffee line. Blah, 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 blah. And you just get stuck in that coffee line. You're just like. Yeah, a five minute stops turn into forty five minutes later. Right, right. So, as a great idea, I mean, I I heard about this through Jason Calacanis. I know that he's an investor in this, uh, so that's kind of how it came across my radar. I think it's a great idea. Um, I'd love to see it expand. I mean, we don't want again. We don't. I, we we always talk about the robots taking our jobs, but um, I think there's some things that robots are just great at doing, and repetitive mechanized tasks over and over again are perfect for that. So. Right. All right. Got anything else, Dad? Nah, that's about it. All right. All right. Go I yourself. need another cup of coffee. Yeah, time for another cup of coffee. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.